Welcome back to our message from our Divine Compassionate Guides. My name is Julianne Duffy, and my purpose is to live, speak, and seek the truth in all forms to assist humanity in raising its vibration to its true, authentic form. Today, I am pulling on the new moon in Vir Virgo for September 2nd, 2024. And with this, I'm using the Moonology cards by Yasmin Boland. And we're going to specifically look at... Um, the new moon and what has been rising up for us, the main message of the new moon and our final outcome. So that is what we're going to be looking at. And when we come to the new moon, something I've never mentioned before, but I wanted to mention this today is that it's really about clean state, clean slates are potential dreams. So this is like a reset that we are going into. It's like a mini reset whenever we have these new moon situations happen, or I guess they're not situations. It's just part of the cycle, right? So, we're going to dive right into it. So again, as I said, this is where we're coming from, what the moon has to tell us. And then, of course, you know, what the outcome is with this new moon as we come into September. I was reading an email from one of the astrologers that I like to follow. And there's a lot of chaos going on. Like, we already know there's a lot of chaos, a lot of noise, and a lot of underground aggression. So I feel for a lot of us, we really need to get grounded right now and and raise those, our vibration as high as we can. Stay in that positive mindset. You know, I was talking about this. If you've joined me on the weekend, I've been doing seated, gentle stretches with intention and breath work. And I was talking about for Sunday about, you know, really Finding a way to rise our vibra raise our vibration and authenticity and gratitude are some of the best ways. So maybe making ourselves that I am grateful statement that we can repeat when we're feeling kind of pulled out of alignment uh, or when we notice ourselves pulled out of alignment. Get that I am grateful statement and work on getting ourselves into that higher energy. But on that little lecture note, let's dive into it. So we're starting from, as I mentioned, this is the first card is on what is rising up for us. So the me message from the guides, emotions are running high, super moon. Well, that seems quite appropriate. There is a lot of high emotions. And what this card really represents is success is close. I try, I just must try. That is part of the attunement. Resolution to your question is closer than you may think. Don't ignore the obvious. Some Something exciting lies ahead. And make sure you don't blow events out of proportion. Speak to the goddess and ask for assistance. So there's a lot of emotions running high, which actually is good for us. There's a lot of things that we're going to be able to create and manifest. And that actually overlaps with what I, what my astrologer wrote in this email is that we're going to come through, especially in this week, this next week, I can't remember which day it was specifically in September. It was in the first week that we're very creative with things that seem impossible. However, they're really creative ideas and they're not actually impossible. It just may seem like that, right? This card suggests that the answer to whatever you're asking is with large like the silvery full moon set against the velvety night sky if you're wondering how successful something's going to be such as a job or relationship the answer is very to use common prevalence prevalence i can say that the answer to your question may well be that it's under your nose this card is about being larger than life being special and bursting with energy that you can attune into and work with you can expect expect plenty of good things and positive outcome when this card comes up but you may find that there's lots of emotion to deal with too there's also a sense of opportunity around whatever you're asking so that don't come along every day so where we're coming from so hot of high emotions there's so much opportunity we are coming through that it feels like there's a lot of constriction going on and that was my, actually the conversation my husband and i had last night was about how especially with finances our culture right now if you're in north american culture or a north american lifestyle there's a lot of tension on this and if we are scared and feeling that like we don't want to spend the money we do, we're feeling a lack like we don't have enough and we're not able to create enough you're you're contracting you're not expanding and that's going to run those emotions to be very high and not necessarily in tuned and this is about the fact that we have to believe there is endless 
possibilities, which there is. And there is more than enough abundance for everyone. And it's also seeing the abundance in things that maybe we didn't see the abundance in, right? So this is a really where we're coming from is we need to really feel about the expansion and go into that expansive mindset, raising our vibrations so we can mellow out those high emotions. So we can bring ourselves back to center as soon as we can. Because you might have this emotional outbreak that kind of throws you out. It's going to be the key is going to be bringing ourselves back into that attunement and that state of calmness, peace, and raising our vibrations as soon as we can. Because we have the ability to create a lot of things. That is where we're coming from. So now the next part of our message is specifically what is the main message for the new moon? So what does the new, new moon really want to tell us? Communication is key, new moon in Gemini. So that is the key concept is communicating with people is going to be super important. So if we feel like we shut down versus having that conversation or that difficult conversation or that argument, because some people really don't like conflict. I get that. Most people don't really want to be in conflict. However, shutting down and not saying what is on your mind does not help either. So shutting down, not dealing with the conflict is not going to help with that communication. So this one talks about time to tell someone how you feel. Don't be in your head and not in your heart. So you might be thinking things, but you've got to bring it back to that heart center, that gratitude, that, al that alignment to the higher vibration. Someone might be flirting with you as well. And it also recommends that reading more books. Well, that would be part of the communication, right? A successful relationship usually comes down to one thing, which is communication. And the new moon in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle of communicating with the person at the center of your question. Taking things through is the answer to your question. Or talking things through is the answer to whatever you're asking about. If you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself. Emails, texts, and other forms of communication will also help now. If the issue you're talking about concerns a family member, a neighbor, it's time to wipe the slate clean and start over. This card can suggest that we've been too frivolous lady lately and need to be grounded again. But most importantly, drawing the card emphasizes a need to communicate. So that is really what we, for this full moon, what we're being advised is it's, it is time to really get those clear communications, which is going to be very important because we have a lot of high emotions. And if we want to create what we've been working on, we've got to settle these things that we're having difficulties with. So communication, clarity, and again, not only from the head, but with the heart, remembering that, you know, there is a lot, you know, being loving and caring about what we're communicating to, even if it isn't somebody that we necessarily love. Um, we have to think from that heart centered gratitude, authenticity, authentic place and bring in that heart centered energy to assist us. And then the last part of our message for today from the moon is the final outcome. So where, where are we going through this full moon? Where are we going to end up? Work through your fears, the new moon in Scorpio. So where we're going to end up is that we're going to be working through these fears. And maybe a lot of these fears really come from from the emotions running high and this lack of communication and because when we're not communicating and we're living in our head and not our heart there might be fear with dealing with it pro you know a prop properly because we're coming from this high emotional high creative energy we're being guided that communicating and clearly speaking to others is very important during this new moon and the outcome is that we're going to get past these fears and these things that are stopping us right so it's like time to let go of the grudge we're holding on so we're letting go of that grudge the fears move on from jealousy stop being obsessive so if we're obsessing about something or creating something in our mind this is a reminder that we are creating it and it may not be real so if we're having difficulties with relationships is that really a really a re really a difficult relationship or are we creating things around that and you could be paranoid. That's really, that's actually really what I was talking about. You could be paranoid that maybe that's not actually really what is happening, especially with these relationships. So are we seeing it clearly, right? Because, or are we being kind of getting that veil of delusion through the emotions that we've had, right? And so, you know, maybe we're not seeing that clearly. And it's also time to make an investment, make an investment in ourselves, whether that is a financial investment, uh, phys you know, physically start moving more. I am offering, so 
as I stated, if you haven't yet, check it, check it out. I've been there under my live tabs. I have gone live for the last two weekends doing gentle seated stretches with breath work and intention setting. I am also offering starting next week, September 7th on Saturday, or I guess this, this week coming up this weekend, um, a one hour seated gentle class doing a full class with that intention breath work and the seated stretches so that might be really what you're being called to do is make an investment in yourself and getting your energy in alignment and getting yourself in that physically feeling better and I talked about this on Sunday during the class that our mind and body work together if our body isn't is out of alignment it's more difficult for our mind to be in alignment so if our body doesn't feel good that's going to distract us and all we're going to be thinking about is how we don't feel good but you know so it's, it's really this mind body connection when we feel good that's not going to be there right and it comes down to a quote i had come across last year which is essentially uh somebody who is sick only wants to be healthy so same thing with your body. If you're feeling sore or whatever, all you want to do is feel good. Vice versa, somebody who feels good has a thousand wishes or a million wishes of things they want to accomplish. So you're very limited if you are not taking care of yourself and you're feeling, you know, whether it's your mind, your body, your soul, right? Working on those things. So make the investment on whatever that is in your life and that'll assist you as we go forward. So that, so the card suggests a rebirth. Think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes, as the birth, death, rebirth paradigm. That's what Scorpio energy is all about. Whatever you've been through, there's a new new start ahead. And it might be dark. It, might, might, it almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns. However, it will be deep and transforming. This card also suggests that if you know you are magical, then this is the time to work your magic. It can also herald the start of a sexier time. If you've been experiencing something of a drought, an emotional intimacy is also on the menu. Scorpio is a sign that likes to go deep into the body, mind, and spirit. So when this card comes up, there's nothing superficial about what's coming your way. So this is really the outcome. It's deep. The outcome is investing in yourself, getting past paranoias, and really upping your vibration. That is how I feel like that that's really what it comes off to being. So with this with this new moon, we're coming from an emotional state. We've been creating things which are going to come to fruition. However, we've had to be very aware that there might be a lot of emotions catching us and getting us distracted. And part of dealing with that, which we're being told through this new moon in Virgo, that we need to really communicate, make sure we're having those clear conversations, uh, whether we're, you know, whatever way we're communicating with the people. And even if it's communicating with ourselves to heal ourselves through these relationships. And then we're going to come through those fears of whatever the situation is. And this is going to be a very important time that we get past that and we invest in ourselves because it's not going to be surface. This is a very deep work we're working on and it's going to pay off, especially if we let go of all those things that are, you know, that are blocking us. We let go of them. You're, you're closer to this end result than you really, really think, right? You're closer to it. And, you know, you just have to trust because that's the outcome. We're going to get rid of these fears and we're going to manifest the life the way we want. Get that vibration up. As always, I intend this message assists you as we go through with this new moon in Virgo for September 2024. And, you know, this is some crazy times. So whatever you need to do to invest in yourself, to help yourself stay at that higher vibration and the more we notice it, so whenever you get pulled out of that alignment, if we can go to a grateful statement, some breath work, whatever it is, taking a moment and grounding yourself in the garden, whatever it might be, do it. Because that is going to be a very important thing, especially for this first week of September. So have a beautiful day. And until next time, namaste.